Hey, what's up everybody, I'm Mitch. Thank you so much for checking out another video on the Fit for Moto YouTube channel. Now today's video, we're doing something a little different, but it's kind of the same, because it's dirt bike stuff. I have a KTM 300XC here. I started to learn how to do some hard enduro. I wanted to try and learn a new skill set aside from just the motocross stuff. But the other day I was out riding it and the bike started overheating a little bit. So I picked up a Tusk Digital Radiator Fan Kit. Now here's the thing. The price is right, it was about 120 bucks US. And to me, that's, that's a fairly affordable. Seemed to have some good reviews. It does come with all the little goodies you need. It has an inline fuse from the battery. It kicks on automatically at a preset temperature. That's all pretty handy stuff to me. So uh, it looks like it's easy enough to install. I've never installed one of these before as I'm new to the whole hard enduro bit. But um, yeah, man, with all that being said, uh, let's just tear into it. Let's see what we got. And um, let's put this fan in this bike and let's get going. that grabbed my attention with this digital fan kit. First of all, the price. 120 bucks US isn't that bad when you consider what you get with a kit. The airflow is 130 cubic feet per minute, which will quickly cool your radiator and only pulls 15 watts while it's running. And on top of that, it really is an all-in-one kit that comes with everything you need to mount it and have it up and running in no time. The install was actually pretty easy. You can start out by removing the seat and tank and plastics and get everything that surrounds your gas tank out of the way. Additionally, if you have any aftermarket radiator protectors, those will have to come off as well, but only on the one side that you wish to put the fan on. Then it's as easy as moving your gas tank out of the way so you can access the wire harness area of your bike. You're going to need that to try and string some of the wires through. Now to do this the easiest way possible, you'll have to remove the right side radiator to mount the fan. In order to do that, you'll have to drain the coolant before you can loosen off the radiator hoses and the radiator should just pop right out of where it's mounted. When you do have the radiator removed, it is as simple as lining up the bolts for your fan on your radiator. Now, it's a good idea to use some Loctite on these little bolts so that the fan doesn't rattle off. But you want to make sure that you don't over tighten the bolts because it can be really easy to ruin the threads on the radiator. And if you use bolts that are too long and not the ones provided, you could potentially punch a hole into the radiator, so avoid doing that. When the fan's mounted, simply bolt the radiator back on, tighten up the hose clamps, and refill your cooling system. One of the cool parts about this kit is that it comes with a thermal grease that's needed to slide the digital thermometer into place. Now Tusk does mention to use about half the tube given and insert the grease into the radiator area that you want to use, then apply a little bit of it to the thermometer itself. Once you have your wiring route planned, you need to just find a spot to put the brains of the operation. Make sure you clean the area well with contact cleaner, not brake cleaner, because it will mess with the glue of the adhesive. So use the contact cleaner and use a two-sided tape that it comes with. Apply a little dielectric grease into all the connections and make sure that everything is tucked away nice and neat. Once the connections are attached to your battery and you have a good signal, you can start to put the bike back together. Just make sure when you're putting on the gas tank that those new wires don't get pinched into any areas where they can get rubbed open or break them off altogether. And then just replace all the aftermarket parts that you had to take off. Once your bike is back together, that's it. Although it is a good idea to run the bike and check your coolant level again to make sure there's no leaks and you make sure that you tightened all the hoses properly. <laughs> Fans running. That's good. Well, there you have it. To be honest, it really wasn't that bad to install whatsoever. Just take the gas tank off, take the plastics off, get that area cleaned up for you. Probably the hardest part was just taking that radiator off and uh, and getting that thing mounted on there, which really isn't that hard at all. 
make sure you don't over torque the bolts that actually hold the fan to the radiator. You can easily uh, strip those threads or if you put too long of a bolt in, if you don't use the, the bolts that it came with, you can actually punch into your radiator and destroy the thing altogether. So make sure that you use the proper bolts, put a little bit of Loctite on them like I showed you and, and don't over torque those because you will, you will wreck your radiator if you do that. So other than that, pretty straightforward to put on. Um, I'm really excited to get out, try this thing out, get on some trails, learn some more hard enduro and, uh, and see what I can do with this thing. Now, as far as the whole hard enduro bit goes, it is pretty new to me, so I am having a good time with it. But let, let me know what you think. Like, do you like seeing the hard enduro footage? Do you like seeing the hard enduro content? I'm pretty pumped with it between the moto and the hard enduro, two different skill sets for sure. But uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. I hope it helped you. If you decide to pick up one of these test kits, I will put the link below on where you can get one of these things. Really straightforward to put on, to install, reasonably cheap to get, and to keep your bike running a little bit cooler. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.